COVID-19, pandemic, virus. All right, now that that's all out of the way, hopefully YouTube can demonetize this or do whatever they do on their algorithm. But what I wanted to show you all today are some of these uh, so-called COVID keys that have come out recently because as this pandemic began, you know, I saw these up for sale and I think it's a good idea in theory, but not always in practice because we have these keys that are made of uh, various materials. And the idea behind them, of course, is to keep your hands off of surfaces that the public uses often like door handles or push button um, ATM type buttons or at a gas station, things like that. Um, so there are various different companies that produce these things. And if you go online today, you're going to find dozens of different sellers of near identical products. So when this pandemic first started, not too long after um, this, this craze began, I saw a Kickstarter for the hygiene hand right here. And so it, saw, it sounded like a really great idea. You know, we have this nice little brass key shaped item and you could attach it to your keychain. And the idea is, is that you can um, go out in public, open doors, function with the ATM and not get bacteria on your hands. Um, of course, COVID-19 is a virus and virus and not bacterial. Um, but still, the idea is, is out of all the materials that you could potentially make a tool like this out of um, brass and copper and metals like that in that family are the least likely to harbor a virus. So, you know, whereas COVID-19 and any virus might live on steel or plastic for several days on brass and copper, it might be four or five hours. And so the idea is, is to minimize contact with all those surfaces. So we have all these different products that have come out. And so once the hygiene hand being the first one I saw, um, somehow the Facebook, Instagram algorithm, they totally picked up on what I was doing and what I was searching for because suddenly I got inundated with ads. Every company under the sun was producing some kind of variety of this same tool. So I purchased a few other ones and these are all American made. I didn't, I didn't want to buy overseas and have it take, you know, a month to get here. And so the first one I bought was the hygiene hand. Um, then I saw that Millspin was making their so-called COVID key. And these are both brass keys right here. Um, and again, while I was doing all this searching, boom, up on Instagram pops this one right here. And this one was made by a local, well, semi-local company to me in Bakersfield, California. And so I decided to pick this one up too. And this one is aluminum versus the brass. So again, it doesn't have the same properties as copper or brass, but you know, the idea is the same. It keeps your hands off of uh, various public touch surfaces. And that being said, you have to approach these with a certain mindset and that it's not going to really um, make a night and day difference in, in, in what you are coming into contact with on a daily basis. The whole idea behind these keys, it's, it's a feel good type thing, because, of course, if you're using this key on a daily basis, you're punching buttons on ATM machines, you're pulling open doors. After you do all that stuff, where does the key sit? It's going to go in your pocket. You know, the hygiene hand is made by stat gear and they did include this little um, keychain device you could hook on and keep it on your belt, maybe or on a belt loop. So that way it's not openly in your pocket. So as soon as you reach in to grab it again, you're going ahead and touching the surface again. So they did avoid that problem in that way. But the whole idea behind these, it's a feel good type tool. And, you know, being an EDC type channel and everyday carry all this type of fancy gear you can get, it's no surprise that companies um, are jumping on board and people like to buy anything brass and copper nowadays, very much in vogue. And so just comparing a couple of these different items, we can see this one right here being the COVID key. Again, solid brass, no markings on it or anything. You can just get an idea of it's a very simple tool. You stick it on a keychain goes on the keychain in your pocket. Hopefully you use it to open up doors. And again, are you going to really leave it alone for four or five hours after every exposure to let it disinfect? Probably not. But the idea is, is that it uh, helps minimize that contact. So the hygiene hand right here does have the made in the USA branding on it, which is kind of nice to see, as well as the stat gear logo. Uh, but we can see clones of this thing all over the internet. So if you go on eBay right now, you can find dozens and dozens of listings of buying clones of this item from anywhere from four or five dollars on up. Um, this one right here, I kind of wanted to buy because it is a little bit of a novelty in that, of course, it's actually bigger than these other ones, but being made of aluminum, it weighs almost nothing. And so I don't know of the antibacterial, antiviral properties of aluminum, probably not great, 
but this thing weighs barely an ounce compared to these two here, which are a little bit heavier. So about twice the weight. And so again, this one right here, I do like the markings on it. They call it the icky stick. So very aptly named has that little COVID cartoon on there. So made in the USA with clean hands. Bakersfield. So kind of cool to see that. And so I got this and it has a bottle opener on it. So if you are going to buy one of these things, keep in mind a year from now, two years from now, are we really going to be have any use for this once this whole COVID thing dies down? Probably not. So if I was you, buy something that has a bottle opener on it so you could at least use it around the house. And, you know, five, ten years from now when you're opening bottles with it, you can all have a laugh over this whole COVID-19 nonsense and all the crap that's associated with it. And it'll give you a nice memory. These other ones here, nothing wrong with them. They're totally, perp you know, fine for the purpose that they're they're there for. But really, do you need something like this to open a door to punch buttons on a keypad? Um, that may sound very negative coming from someone who bought three of these things. <laughs> but I do love the idea of these EDC tools. They're super cool to look at. Great conversation pieces. And heck, you they, may, they might make a great gift for somebody in your life or in your family who's very paranoid about the current pandemic going on right now. Um, so again, not the greatest practical tool if you really think about it scientifically. And every time you see these for sale, people always comment up, oh, you know, COVID lives on brass for a long time. It's not antiviral. It's only antibacterial. Obviously, we know that's the case. We're intelligent human beings. Um, but again, this helps us feel more confident in going out, going shopping, turning the economy back to normal. So for that reason alone, let's support some American companies that produce these things. 20, 30 bucks, go buy one. Um, company of your choice, preferably try and find one that is made in the USA. You probably want to get one that's made from copper or brass, so you at least get the best of the antibacterial properties you can get. Um, but I, I totally support these companies, even though I don't really think I'm going to carry it on a daily basis. I like having them around. So pretty cool little items here. Tell me what you think about them. Are they stupid? Are they a great idea? Um, another EDC craze gone wild. Let me know in the comments below. Everyone have a great night. Bye-bye.